think you're beaten, you are. If you think you're there not, you don't. If you like to win but think you can't, it's almost certain you won't. You've got to think how to rise before you can ever win a prize. Is that life's battles doesn't always go to the faster, stronger man. Sooner or later, the man who wins is the man who thinks he can. My name is William Martin, and I am from Louisville, Kentucky. As I've often said, even when I was preaching, I had an amazing childhood. Uh, and I say I had an amazing childhood because I can never think of a time where I could sit around the house and say I was bored. Uh, I had neighbors on, on both sides of me, and it wasn't as if we were neighbors. We, we were more like family because I could go over their house, they could come over our house, and something that's kind of strange that you don't hear much. We knew what it was like to go borrow a cup of sugar, uh, borrow something so you didn't have to go to the store immediately. Uh, we would make up games, you know, we'd say, oh, we played that yesterday, let's make up something today. My street's not very large, we used to actually play football. So what we would do, we had to get so good at playing football that when we threw the football, we didn't hit anybody's cars. Because back then, if you hit somebody's car with a football, you was probably going to get two whoopings. You know, the person's car you hit, and then your parents went, went once you got home. I had an amazing childhood. Even thinking back on it, I can't think of any, any time while I was a child where I can say, oh, I was sad or I, I was pouting because there was just so much to do and I was connected with so many people. And I think that my childhood gave me values that I, that I, that I use today because, you know, I really love people. You know, my mom always told me, if you're gonna do something, be the best at it that you could possibly be. So I just lived, I did everything to, to the best of my ability. And then when my abilities weren't good enough, I would practice. He was a good kid, he was ambitious, he wanted to uh, do everything and be the best of everything. <laughs> you know, but he had some brothers knock him down, you know what I'm saying? So he had to try even harder. The bishop always had this zeal, this excitement about whatever he did. Whatever, good or bad, he just had this energy that was just, and he had this smile. He, oh, no matter what, he. I wasn't pastoring, uh, but I knew that I was called to ministry, and I, I'd never preached before. So once again, me, me and paper. I took some paper and I just started writing all these sermons. So as I was writing these sermons, a gentleman by the name of Harvey Floyd, he was supposed to preach during the gospel service. So I was showing him my sermons one day. So he said, "You know what?" He says, I'm, I don't think I'm preaching uh, for the gospel service. I said, you're not? He said, nah, I'm not going to preach, man. He said, I think I got the perfect person. I said, who you got? Because I was excited. I wanted to know who he was going to have preach. And he said, I thank you. You think you're the perfect person. I said, oh, man, it ain't me. He said, man, you didn't show me 15 sermons you didn't wrote. He said, this is what I'm going to do. He says, I'm going to go up. Once I go up there, I'm going to call you. If you don't come up there and preach, that's just going to be between you and the Lord. So I went up there. And I'll, I'll never forget it, man. My title was My Sword and My Shield. So I went up there and I preached my first sermon actually in the middle of the desert during the war. And the title was My Sword and My Shield. I actually watched him flourish into this great man of God, Bishop Martin, from Martin in the West End, bass player, to Bishop Martin, this, this man of God. And I just want to say I, I'm thankful that, that God put him in my life as a brother and a friend. I think that we should always position ourselves within reason to live the best, most beautiful life we can. Because if we don't, we'll look, and one day we'll look around and the life that we wanted to live, we no longer have the opportunity.